My name is Jam. I am a drawing major and ceramics minor, and I am honored to be your 2022 commencement student speaker. What does it mean to make a mark? Earlier in the semester, one of my incredibly sweet peers, Manpreet Parmar, described her work to me simply by saying, you are a collection of every person you have ever met before and everyone you are hoping to meet in the future. As I considered this notion and its potential to acknowledge the way every person in our community has come to impact one another throughout their time here, it became easy to see how the watercolor pencil lines in my grad piece could be traced back to a mark made through the kindness of Cody in the bookstore, patiently hearing out a first year to be able to recommend those same pencils. To quote Sarah Ahmed, creating a shelter and disrupting usage can refer to the same action. A doorway becomes a meeting place, a kitchen table becomes a publishing house, a post box becomes a nest, end quote. A downstairs garden becomes home to a collection of abandoned sculptures. A sticker in the stairwell becomes a reminder to take our meds. A table becomes a touch point for community care and support. A step out of our comfort zones becomes a cause for celebration. As you walk around campus, you can start to make out traces of all of these different instances of how we took shelter together in the process of marking up our studios, our classrooms, and our committee spaces. And so, if each of us in this community is a reflection of the marks made on us by all of the people we have encountered while here, we are also a collection of all of those marks made by those who made us feel as if we didn't belong elsewhere. We are a community made up of people who were once considered too loud to be accepted or too quiet to be noticed. We are people who think too big and place value on things that are considered too small. It can feel scary to think about leaving what is for some of us, our very first instance of feeling truly seen and supported while living in our wholeness. From this place of fear though, it becomes easy to forget the sentiment based in the second half of Manpreet's earlier thought which is that we are, as a collective group of people, a reflection of the communities we hope to be a part of once we leave here. Communities embedded with openness, acceptance, and compassion for one another. Communities that maybe haven't been able to exist yet without our newfound abilities to create the space needed for them too.